Hello everyone, welcome to Sequence.ai. Today we are going to discuss about SAP Gen AI. How to set up SAP Gen AI to start building applications using artificial intelligence. So Gen AI is going to make a lot of difference in enterprises because it has the capability to automate tasks, making decision making faster, generate reports and insights from large data sets. So today we're going to do a setup for Gen AI and multiple steps are involved. The first step is to set up SAP AI Core. SAP AI Core is a model to support the deployment and management of AI applications in SAP ecosystem, which is like a tool that we can use. And the second step is the setting up of SAP AI Launchpad. The Launchpad is similar to the AI Core, but it's a tool to manage and deploy the AI models um, to make the developer's life easy. Okay, it's an easy way to test and deploy AI models. And the last step is configuration of the foundation model, which is provided by SAP. So you have different options when you configure the foundation model using SAP Gen AI. So let's get started for the for the configuration of all of these. I have to first log on to my SAP uh, BTP cockpit. So this is my BTP cockpit. So I will navigate to my sub account. This is where I'm going to add entitlements. That is the subscription for my SAP AI services. For that, I will click on entitlement, go to edit, add service plans and I will search for SAP AI and uh, I will choose SAP AI Core. So here I can choose different plans. Um, I will choose free, extend and standard and then I will add the plans to my account. Then I have to click on the save button. So this will make sure that the subscription is enabled in my sub account of SAP BTP. The next step for me is to setting up of SAP AI Core for that I will use the boosters. So boosters is an easy way to set up the services. So this is the SAP AI Core booster for me. So I will add that. I'll click on next here. It's an easy step. Uh, I'll choose select sub account because I have a sub account already created. Then I will click on the next button. Here you can see the different plans I have chosen. So I'll click on next. Then I'll click on the finish button. So it is now creating SAP uh, AI core, which I will be using along with the AI launchpad. So now I will navigate back to my sub account because I have to create a, a service key that I have to use with the AI Launchpad. So let me go and create the service key. I'll go to instances and sub subscriptions. Then uh, here you can see the subscription I have already created. Here I will give a name for the key as booster. Then I'll click on create. So this will create a new key for me. This is, this is something which we are going to use in the later steps. Now I'll go back to my global account and then go to boosters again to set up my AI launchpad. So I'll search for the AI launchpad and I'll choose the AI launchpad and then click on the start button. This is also a very simple process to forward, to follow. Then I'll click on next and select a sub account which I have already created. I'll click next and then I will click on the next button again and then finish. So it is going to take a few minutes to create the launchpad for me. Once that is done, I will navigate back to my SAP AI launchpad because I need to make a connection to the SAP AI core. So here, some of the details I have to copy and paste from the service key that we have created in the earlier step. So I'll go back to the subscription, the instance where I can find the service key. So I look for the service key that is a booster. Here I'll be able to see all the details of the key. So I'll copy and paste the keys here respectively. So it may take a minute or so. So once copying of these keys are completed, 
the connection between a core and the a launch pad is done once that is done we are then uh, good to go with the foundation models and scenarios so okay so cool it has been now set up now i'll go to the ml operations and scenarios here you can see let me load okay here you can see some of the foundation models already available out there so i have to create a configuration to use that so i'll put some details for my configuration i'll click on next here i'm using the latest model that is gpt for that and i will create one configuration here once the configuration is created i have to deploy an llm so i'll make a deployment here because this this deployment is needed to use um, the foundation model um, for different in, in different applications so i have made the deployment right now it will take a few minutes to run so you can see the current status okay now it is running so i'll go to the generative ai hub and prompt management this is where we can test the model that we have uh, deployed which is based on gpt so here the first thing i'm going to do is a text summary for that i will say summarize the text below in most 30 words then i'll copy and paste a large text file here then i'll run this one and uh, let's see what uh, it is going to give me great so it has given a summary of the text the next question i'm going to ask is a question answering basically so i'm going to ask what is the difference between sap ai core and sap ai launchpad let's see what it is going to give me as an answer cool so it is giving me a lot of details about the difference between ai core and the ai launchpad awesome let's try sentiment analysis now i'm giving a text here and let's find out what is sentiment is coming up with let me run this it's giving positive sentiments awesome thanks everyone for watching